calculation of steady state concentration on IV infusion. So what is actually steady state concentration? Suppose this is the plasma concentration time profile and we are giving the drug by IV bolus administration that is a single IV administration. Now when we give it the drug by IV bolus administration we can observe the curve like this. Initially we can achieve a high plasma concentration but as it is given as a single dose the plasma concentration is uh, decreased exponentially because of the elimination process and we can give the IV bolus administration at the required steady state concentration but the steady state is not maintained because of the elimination process on the other hand suppose if we are giving the drug by IV infusion so then what happens so when we are giving the drug by IV infusion we can observe a slow increase in the plasma concentration and after a certain time it achieves the steady state concentration in other words when we give the drug by constant IV infusion the steady state is achieved after certain time and it is not achieved immediately and particularly for an IV infusion it takes around 4.32 half lives to achieve 95 percent of the required steady state concentration in this way either IV bolus or IV infusion cannot maintain the steady state concentration at a constant level so in this situation we can use the combination of both IV bolus as well as IV infusion to achieve the steady state concentration immediately and which is then maintained for a certain time period. So immediate CSS is achieved by administration of a loading dose plus IV infusion. Now in this video let us see how we can calculate the steady state concentration that can be achieved by IV infusion and what is the loading dose that is to be required to achieve the steady state concentration immediately. So let us start with our working example one. A drug was given by constant infusion at a rate of 60 mg per hour. If the clearance of the drug is 10 ml per minute, calculate the steady state concentration assuming one compartment model. So let us see what is the data given in this question. Rate of infusion Q is given as a 60 mg per hour and clearance CL is given as 10 ml per minute and we have to calculate the steady state concentration that can be achieved by this drug. So let us see the solution to this working example one. Again if you see the data given the rate of infusion is given as well as the clearance is given. So which formula we have to use? The rate of infusion is directly proportional to the steady state concentration. So as you are going to increase the rate of infusion the steady state concentration also going to increase. So Q is directly proportional to CSS otherwise Q is equal to CSS into clearance. So from this the CSS is nothing but CSS is equal to Q by clearance that is the it is a ratio of the rate of infusion by clearance. Now let us calculate what is the CSS for the given drug. Q is given as 60 mg per hour and clearance is given as 10 ml per minute. But here we can observe that the units are different. Here the Q is given as 10 mg per hour but here clearance is given as 10 ml per minute. Both are not in a uniform way. So let us convert this minutes into the hours so as 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So by multiplying with 60 we can convert into hour. So 60 into 10 ml per hour which is nothing but 600 ml per hour. This way both are having similar unit. The rate of infusion is 60 mg per hour and clearance is 600 ml per hour. Now let us apply this equation CSS is equal to Q by clearance. So CSS is equal to 60 by 600 so which is nothing but 0.1 mg per ml. Now you can observe that units are mg per ml. Again we can convert this uh, volume ml into the liters by multiplying with the 1000 so 0.1 into 1000 mg per liter which is nothing but 100 mg per liter. So the steady state concentration achieved by this drug is the 100 mg per liter. Let us go with the other example. A drug has half life of 7 hour and volume of distribution 20 liter was given by constant infusion at a rate of 40 mg per hour. Assuming one compartment model the steady state concentration will be. Again let us list out the data given. Q is equal to 40 mg per hour and T half is equal to 7 hour and VD is equal to 20 liter. 
and again we have to calculate the steady state concentration CSS. So let us go with the solution. Again we can use the same equation CSS is equal to Q by clearance. If we list out the data given, Q is given, T half is given and VD is given. But there is clearance is not given. So we have to calculate the clearance from the data given in the question. So how can we calculate the clearance? And we know one more equation clearance is equal to KE into VD. So here VD is given but again the KE value is not given in the data. So how can we obtain the KE value? So K is the elimination rate constant which follows the first order kinetics which can be obtained from the half-life. So K is equal to 0.693 by T half. So as the T half is given as a CNR so we can calculate the K value. So that is equal to 0.693 by 7 which is equal to 0 0.099 R inverse. Now by substituting these values in the main equation we can calculate the CSS. Now CSS is equal to 40 by 0 0.099 into 20 which on simplification gives 20.2 mg per liter. In this way even clearance is not given we can uh, calculate the clearance from the elimination rate constant and volume of distribution. And elimination rate constant can be calculated from the half life as k is equal to 0 0.693 by t half. Next example. A drug with half-life of 10 hour and volume of distribution 15 liter was given by constant infusion to achieve required steady state concentration of 0.5 microgram per ml. How much time it requires to achieve the 95% of the desired CSS? This is a different question and first of all let us see what is the data given again. T half is given as a 10 hours and CSS is given 0.5 microgram per ml and volume of distribution as 15 liters. And what we have to identify? Here we have to identify the time required to achieve the 95% of the steady state concentration. So let us see the solution to this example. Which equation we can use? When the drug is given by IV infusion, the concentration of the drug at any time t is related with the steady state concentration with respect to the half-lives. So c is equal to CSS into 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of half-lives. So by solving this equation, we can calculate the concentration of the drug in the plasma at uh, different half-lives. In other words, we can calculate how many half-lives are required to achieve a particular percentage of the steady state concentration. So we can make a small table like this, the number of half-lives and percentage of the CSS achieved. In order to achieve the 90% of the CSS, the drug requires 3.32 half-lives and to achieve the 95% 4.32 half-lives and 99% 6.65 half-lives. If you remember the value for the 90% you can also remember the other values very easily. For example at the 90% 3.32 half-lives at 95% we have to add one value that is 4.32 at 99% is the double of the half-lives at the 90% that is 3.32 into 2 approximately 6.65. In this way, 90% is 3.32, 95% is 4.32 and 99% is 6.65. But here in the question we were asked with what is the time required to achieve the 95% of the CSS. To achieve the 95% of CSS it takes 4.32 half-lives. So now the time required t is equal to 4.32 into t half. So that is nothing but 4.32 into 10 which gives as 43.2 R. So the drug requires 43.2 hours to achieve the 95% of the desired CSS. Now let us see the next example. Calculate the loading dose required for a drug given by IV infusion at 80 mg per hour to achieve a steady state concentration of 40 microgram per ml. The volume of the distribution of the drug is 10 liter and elimination rate constant is 0.2 or inverse. So let us list out the data given again. Q is equal to 80 mg per hour and CSS is equal to 40 microgram per ml. Volume of distribution is 10 liters and K is equal to 0.2 or inverse. So here we have to calculate what is the loading dose required. So let us see how can we calculate the loading dose. Loading dose is given to achieve the steady state concentration immediately. 
so whatever the loading dose is directly proportional to the desired steady state concentration so xl is directly proportional to css in other words the xl is equal to css into volume of distribution as we multiply the concentration with the volume we will get the dose so the loading dose xl is equal to css into vd and we also know one more equation css is equal to q by cl that is the rate of infusion by the clearance this can also be expanded like this q by clearance is equal to ke into vd so this is nothing but q by ke into vd now if we arrange this equation css into vd is equal to q by ke so in other words the loading dose xl which is equal to css into vd is now equal to q by ke so now we can use any of these two equations xl is equal to css into vd otherwise it is q by ke to calculate the loading dose of the drug required to achieve a steady state concentration so if you see what are the data given q is equal to 80 mg per hour and css is equal to 40 microgram per ml and volume of distribution is equal to 10 liters and k is equal to 0.2 r inverse and again here we can observe that css is given in terms of ml and volume of distribution is given in terms of the liters so again we have to convert the units so css 40 microgram per ml can be written as 40 mg per liter by multiplying with thousand the microgram is coming to milligram and ml is coming to liter so css is equal to 40 mg per liter now we can use the first equation xl is equal to css into vd so css is given as uh, 40 and uh, vd is 10 so 40 into 10 that is equal to 400 mg so we have to give a loading dose of 400 mg and we can also calculate the xl by another equation xl is equal to q by ke so now the loading dose is equal to 80 by 0.2 which is again gives the 400 mg so in this way we can calculate the loading dose by using any of these equation we can find the same value of the loading dose so 400 mg of the loading dose should be given in order to achieve 40 microgram per ml of the steady state with a constant infusion of 80 mg per hour in this way in case of iv infusion we can achieve the steady state concentration at 95 percent after 4.32 half lives and in order to achieve the immediate steady state concentration the iv infusion can be given along with a loading dose which immediately produce the steady state concentration and this steady state concentration can be calculated as a ratio of the rate of infusion by the clearance and the loading dose is nothing but the rate of infusion by the elimination rate constraint.